What? Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So in the last episode you guys saw we pulled off all the original rear quarter panel. We test fit our new panel, which looks mighty fine by the way. Still looks fantastic. But today, all that's gonna come back off because we're gonna have to address our inner wheelhouses. Now, we're not only gonna install new ones, we're gonna save all the existing brackets, but we're also gonna install mini tubs. So with this quarter panel off, we're gonna have absolutely awesome access to do these inner wheelhouses. Now is definitely the time to do that. So we'll start off, get that quarter off here, and then just start slowly peeling away all this metal. We don't wanna damage these brackets here. We're gonna save these. However, we will have to modify these because as you guys can see here with the edge of our frame rail, the edge of our wheelhouse, all that sits on top of here is the trunk pan. So it's the perfect car to just push this out two and a half, three inches here or so and fit it a little bit tighter to the frame rail. Now that's gonna lead us to have to modify our trunk pan a little bit, but I think that we'll be able to do it without there being too much of an issue with, uh, with fitment down the road. But yeah, so let me uh, show you guys here this brand new, beautiful AMD inner wheelhouse and outer wheelhouse. Now I mentioned, I don't know if there's a more perfect car to mini tub. Number one, because chargers look badass with big ass wheels under the back. But two, because this 90 degree flange is perfectly flat and straight all the way around. There's no big curves or indents or anything super crazy here on the inside. So this should allow us to just cut right here along this 90 degree seam. We're gonna install two and a half inch spacers basically and weld those up in here and then put our flange right back on top. So in essence, it's gonna push our wheelhouse inside two and a half inches, but that still gives us enough, enough clearance where we're not gonna have to modify our frame rails at all. So then outer wheelhouse, this will come a little bit later, but this just sandwiches right on top of here. Weld it all together. As you guys saw in a previous video, we already punched all this out, it's ready to go. We've got our little locating holes right there. Uh, one thing I will do just real quick before we get started on this, I'm gonna locate all these holes on top of each other. We'll screw this panel together. So that way once we get it on the car, we can make sure that we have a perfect fit and it's exactly where it needs to be. So with that, let me go ahead and get this quarter panel off and let's see what we're looking at. All right guys, so let's take a look at the inside of this panel here. And you can see a lot of this work is already done for us. We've already taken the whole outer wheelhouse off and now we're just left here with what's left of the inner. All the bottom welds here, well, back here, nature already did that for us. These are completely rusted out. We've already drilled all these off here where what's left of the trunk pan and the back seat pan is still hanging onto this wheelhouse. Uh, we will have to make some cuts in here where it's attached to the old inner rocker. But what I'll probably do is actually cut this just a little bit short here, up and around, just to make sure that I'm not digging into anything super critical back there. You know, this metal here, it's a little scaly, a little crusty. Uh, using the air chisel like I planned to could really explode all of that metal. So we're gonna be very careful. Of course, we're gonna cut out any bad metal that we find along the way, but I don't wanna jack up what's left of the good structure that's on this car. So let's, uh, let's grab our air chisel and uh, we'll start back here. We'll free up these brackets. What I like to do is just come directly underneath of these. Don't, I don't even waste any more time drilling these holes out. The air chisel can help take care of all that. We'll just cut all the way around these. We'll clean them up on the backside with a nice uh, flap wheel. So, um, you know, not a whole lot of grinding involved there. But the same thing here, you can see this corner right here is lifted, for example. Drop the air chisel right underneath that. It'll peel up like a, uh, like a tuna can. So let's go ahead, let's grab some tools and let's get this wheelhouse out.
All right, guys, so we got our wheelhouse all screwed together here. Now, a couple things real quick. Number one, this is not just gonna screw together and all the three guide holes that are here line up, okay? You're gonna have to fight with it a little bit. I would recommend start on one side, get it exactly where you want it, put a screw into it, and then you're gonna have to fight it. So I use a screwdriver, just pry it all there, so that way, you know, it lines up, the holes line up. Throw another screw in it, do the exact same thing here on the other end. But once it's all screwed together, really, really nice piece goes together really, really good. And uh, yeah, can't wait to get this part onto the car. So with that, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna test fit this just to make sure everything lines up. We're gonna have a little bit of patchwork to do on the front side of this, had to cut off a little bit more metal than what I was expecting to, but if it's bad metal, it's gotta go. Wanna make sure we have a nice clean slate, good surfaces to weld our wheelhouse to when we get to that point. But, uh, but yeah, we'll knock out that patchwork. But let's go ahead, let's get this test fit and we'll see where we're at. Man, I tell you guys what, I need to go buy a lottery ticket or something tonight because the fitment on this is perfect first try. So let's look at our door gaps here. You can see the line is really, really nice and straight there. So our quarter is where it needs to be. It's nice and centered, good to go. Now here on the inside is where we really need to pay close attention because if you go and weld the inner wheelhouse in place, before you put the fender on, there's a good chance that it could be off center and not everything's gonna line up right. But the way this worked out is that the inner fender on this, or excuse me, the outer wheelhouse is tight all the way around with our rear quarter. It's perfectly flush here with where the back seat pan is also. Perfectly aligned with our rails as well. Um, pulled nice and tight here with the rear quarters. I mean, overall in general, I don't know if it could have turned out much better than that. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put a couple screws in here, make sure this all holds exactly where it needs to. Pull our rear quarter back off, bolt it all up into place, that way I have good reference points that when I do finish up the, uh, the mini tubs that I can come back, bolt it all in place and it's gonna be exactly where it needs to be to fit our rear quarters again perfectly. So let's go ahead, let's get some screws installed, get this rear quarter back off and uh, start working on some of our patch pieces.
Alrighty you guys, so now it's time to move on to do our mini tubs. So they do sell kits for this. They're $200, $250 for the kit. I'm gonna instead use about $10 worth of 18 gauge metal, a little bit of painter's tape, and a little bit of time and welding to, uh, to do our mini tubs here. Now this appears to me to be pretty simple. We'll see, I guess, if, uh, if it's gonna be any more complicated. But as you guys saw, we got the three holes lined up here that are on our wheelhouses. And then I did also bolt it to the car, so I've got really good reference that after we get done extending the wheelhouses two and a half inches, bolt it all back together, screw it into the car. We're gonna have to do a little bit of trimming on our uh, back seat pan, and then also on what's left of uh, some of the inner metal that we're gonna have to do with the bracing and whatnot. But um, aside from that, it should be pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do, at least I hope. So let's, uh, let's get this unscrewed and then let's start making some lines with our painter's tape. Alrighty guys, well as you can see here, there is a section where there's kind of a bead that rolls over and then it turns to flat here on our wheelhouse. I put the inside of our tape here right where it starts to turn flat, so that way all the way around this entire wheelhouse, it's the exact point where a flat piece of sheet metal would simply just extend this and it's still gonna follow the exact same uh, curvature going around the back side of the wheelhouse. So I went ahead, I marked this all the way around on the exact same line looks straight right now it'll probably be crooked as hell once i go to make the cut uh, with our grinding wheel so again i'm just going to cut here on this bottom uh, right where my thumb is right there on this bottom section and uh, go ahead and separate these two pieces Alrighty you guys, so what I'm using here, these are real simple Harbor Freight special uh, panel clips. Now what these do is that it's just got a wing nut on the back side here. When you loosen this guy up, there's this little metal bar that drops out of there, okay? So <clears throat> this little piece of metal right there is actually exactly a sixteenth of an inch. What you're going to want to do is get that piece out just enough, that little square right there, to get both pieces of sheet metal in there, slide this little piece of metal back in there. And then as you tighten the wing nut, it pulls the panel tight. Now, this does a couple things. Number one, it's gonna help me actually shape the panel. But number two, it's gonna make sure that I have a nice even gap all the way around here. So that way I can start going through, making some tacks, and it'll be exactly uniform at a 16th of an inch all the way around our panel. All right guys, so we got our panel all held into place here. And with this being lighter gauge, I mean, it's 18 gauge, which matches up perfectly with the AMD sheet metal. It's able to form this even right here around this peak on this wheelhouse was able to fold that over really really nice all the way across there now you probably see a little bit bigger gap there got a little carried away with the grinding wheel no big deal i won't tell anybody but now we can go around i'm gonna clean up this metal a little bit do a couple tacks here get these clamps out of the way so that way we can weld it solid now you will see here on the back side a little short okay <laughs> so the pieces that I bought were two shorter pieces, so I will have to put in one more piece that kind of comes around here on this side, but once we get this half uh, welded in, we'll come back through, clamp this on, and do the other side exactly the same way.
All right, guys, and with that, we are all wrapped up with our mini tubs. I think overall it turned out fantastic. I'm very, very pleased with this. I've got the inner and outer screwed back together. Again, the benefit of doing the screws is that I can perfectly line up all of my guide holes. Anytime I wanna sandwich this panel back together, we can do that and it'll be exactly like it was when it fit really nice in the car. Now, this was a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, it took a few hours to get this done, but again, using just 18 gauge material of my own, um, this cost me you know, less than $20 to actually do it. Um, you know, you can buy the kit out there that's all pre-cut, sure, but I prefer doing it this way. I like to save a little bit of money with these builds, and uh, I think overall, the finished product is really, really nice. Now, you may ask, you know, why all that work for, you know, only a little bit of space uh, to add for the rear wheels? You know, this is our mini tub side, obviously, and this is what the factory side looks like. You can see a pretty significant difference here. So on this side, we've got 14 and a quarter inches from the table height to the inside of the wheel well here, 14 and a quarter. This side, of course, by adding two and a half inches, we've got 16 and three quarter inches. Just taking a step back and looking at them, pretty significant, <laughs> substantial difference there. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna make a big difference. And as you guys know, we're definitely gonna need all the traction help that we can get with, uh, with these wheel tubs. So I just did get a shipment in from AMD. We got the other inner wheelhouse here for the other side that I was waiting on. We've got trunk gutters. We've got um, our rear uh, frame rail cross brace there. And then we've also got our package tray extensions. Now these look absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to get them onto the car, but they're gonna be an absolute nightmare to fit. And so that's why I'm gonna split this into two episodes because we got a lot of work to do to get those into the car. Um, and uh, and weld it in permanently and I'll show you guys what I mean here So I've got the light shining up inside of here as you guys can see, you know, this entire piece right there is what gets cut out um, You know, it is also attached to our um, Supporting brace here. We're gonna have to brace this all up inside of here So that way nothing shifts nothing moves when we start going around and drilling out all those plug welds <clears throat> so uh, we've also got some more modification to do here as you know on this trunk support piece here you know it did mount originally on the radius of the actual um, inner wheelhouse now with that kicked in two and a half inches we're actually going to have to cut this short extend this up and now this is going to mount flat on top of the wheelhouse um, and we'll see that more once we get to test fit so i think with that guys this is going to be the end of part one part two we're going to get our wheelhouse completely fit up uh, for the most part installed, again, we're gonna screw this entire car back together, make sure everything lines up good before we start pulling it back apart and welding in permanently. The last thing we wanna do is weld everything together and then come to find out we're three quarters of an inch off on our, on our uh, rear quarters, okay? So we're gonna fit it all up, screw it all together, do the modifications, the rust repair that we need to do to make it right and uh, get it one step closer to finishing the back half of the car. So with that, guys, if you have not done so yet, definitely hit that subscribe button. Check out the new merch links, which are also below. Um, and a big, big thanks for, for all of you guys in helping me hit 10,000 subscribers. So it, I never dreamed that I would have 10 subscribers, let alone 100, let alone 1,000, let alone 10,000. So I uh, really want to say thank you to everybody out there. So with that, guys, take care. We'll see you real soon.